Today I'm going to show you just how simple it is to carry out pilot maintenance on the AVK pressure reducing control valve. We will start by checking the filter. We only need a, a spanner on the flat edges of the filter housing here. And it is as simple as just undoing the thread to access the filter. The next step is to ensure that the filter is clean. If it is not, it's just a case of rinsing through. And then we can put the filter back together simply enough by screwing the housing back on and then tightening back up with the spanner. The next step is to check the spring. We'll do that by loosening the adjustment handle, unscrewing the handle and simply accessing the spring. Inside we will have the spring and the adjuster. We can check that these are both intact. The inside of the pilot is clean and the inside of the adjustment handle is clean and then we can put the valve back, to, back together. And then the handle simply screws back onto the pilot. And that is the complete maintenance for the AVK pressure reducing control valve pilot. It is important to ensure that there is no air in the control valve chamber when permissioning and after maintenance. The air bleed valve on top of the distribution block allows easy venting of air. Optional extras include a filter flush valve. This means that we can clean the filter as part of the maintenance without having to do any other works to the pilot. It is very easy. We simply open the valve and close the valve and because water is passing through we know that the filter is not blocked.